Hello everybody, my name is Avash Patrai and I'm here as a representative of the Sneak Project team. Our team members are Krishna Khanal, Manish Kumar Yadav and Sujan Bosnet. We are all first year first semester students pursuing bachelor's degree in electronics communication and information engineering in Pujo campus. For our project, we decided to take a traditional sneak game and add some extra elements to it. All the fundamentals of the original snake games are still present. However, we have had some modifications for better gameplay and a better user experience. Now, let us move towards the coding part of the program. We have sectioned the program into a group of individual files, each labeled in accordance to the task performed. This division allows any user to easily track the declaration, the execution, and the details of game elements. I will be describing main.c briefly. Our program incorporates the standard header files alongside a dozen of custom header files. Allheaders.h is a collection of the standard C headers. Data and Constance .h, global variables .h, and all the other remaining header files are custom header files. They are there for particular reasons. For example, minitext.h contains all the strings to be printed throughout the program. Soundthings.h is responsible for controlling the audio sequences in the program. Likewise, filehandling.h stores and retrieves player data used for scoreboard. The actual game is located in gatesnakemove.c. However, we will not be looking into the coding of that program since it is complex and we have a time limitation. Intro is one of the first functions that is called in the program. It is responsible for taking the name of the user and welcoming them to the snake game. After the intro function has completed its task, the main function will then call the menu function. Menu is a void function, that is, it will return no value. Start main is one of the numerous labels you will see throughout the program. They have been placed in strategic locations. They will execute their codes, and after the code has been successfully executed, they will be redirected to another set of labels. The switch Y case is used for evaluating the cursor location in our actual game. For cases 0 and 1, it will either continue the game or it will start the game. For options 2, 3, 4 and 5, which stand for options, levels, high scores and helps, it will redirect the program to particular labels that are corresponding to their names. Now these labels will again execute their code and will redirect the program to another location. This is the cycle of how the main C program functions until it enters a game. Now let us get to the exciting part of the program. Let us see how the .exe file is executed and how well it performs. This is how the game welcomes the user. We have six options available at the starting of a game. The first option is starting a new game. The second available selection is options, which allows you to control the game settings. The option menu consists of two more options, sound settings and control mode. The sound setting allows you to activate or deactivate the game audio. The control mode contains two available options, human and AI. Human is the mode where the game responds to the key pressed by the user in the keyboard. AI mode is the mode in which the computer calculates the shortest distance to the food. However, AI mode is prone to errors as it will consider consuming itself to get to the food. The next option available in the main menu is levels. The levels range from 1 to 10. The level differ in speed of motion, 1 being the slowest a snake can go. Therefore, level 10 is going to be the hardest and the fastest a snake can move. Next, we move on to the high scores tab, where the top 5 scores of all times is displayed in sequence. The help menu provides assistance about key binding and gives a brief description about the game and the game developers. The exit menu, which is the last available option, will exit the game. Now let us play a game. The game is currently running in AI mode. The snake will change its direction constantly to get to the nearest food. We can also listen to the beeping sound when the food is consumed by the snake. The score and the snake length increase for each food consumed. 
Normal foods are the blinking heart shapes. Now you can see that there is a resume option also available. I changed it to the human mode. And now my key control is controlling the snake. Special boosts occur as squares and will only appear for a limited amount of time, whereas normal food appear as hearts. When the snake bites itself, it will die, causing the game to end. This will redirect the program to the high scores tab, where one can enter their name. This was all about the basics of the game. Have a good day, and thank you for watching.